Greetings ladies and gentlemen, Mortis here, and welcome to the first look of The Long Dark. The Long Dark is another in a long line of survival games that has come out recently, however this one is a little bit different than what you were used to. In, uh, in the past we've had zombies, mutants, mutant zombies, flying mutant zombies, and other mutants, and the occasional dog. Now we have the cold. Quite literally, uh, as I understand it, it is a game that is based in the northern areas of Canada. The team that uh, designed this, Hinterland Studios, actually is from Vancouver. And it is based off of a geomagnetic event that has caused your plane to crash in the wilderness. And all you're doing is trying to survive. Uh, the only thing you actually have to worry about is Mother Nature. As you can hear the wolf right there. The only two things that i found that will kill you so far is the wolf and the cold. So, all you have to do to survive is to basically regulate your caloric intake, your health, your uh, hydration, and your temperature. Doesn't sound that difficult, right? And yet, it is. Uh, it is a very stylistic art style. I do enjoy it. Uh, the sound design is fantastic. It makes you feel cold. And the fact that I'm actually getting over a cold actually works in my favor for this video, I suppose. In the options, this is all we have right now, but it's enough. FOV slider, which is very nice. Uh, the quality, what's interesting so far, and I do believe this is just a byproduct of it being early access, is I cannot get 60 frames per second, whether it be on ultra or low. It, I literally, when I switch it to low, I gain about two frames. Ultra, I'm sitting at about 40. Low, I'm getting about 42, so I think it's just an optimization issue. I'm sure it will be fixed, or I hope it will be fixed, before the game is actually released. Uh, beyond that, you have the normal audio, controls, run method, and key bindings. Which, as you can see, there's really not that much that you have to do right now. So, with that in mind, we're going to get right into it. There is no story yet. The story mode is not available. Again, early access. This is alpha. Uh, but there is a sandbox where you can play as a pilgrim. You wander the long road to observe the quiet apocalypse. You are here to chronicle the passing of an era. Soak up the atmosphere and enjoy the aesthetics of the experience. So, basically the wildlife will not attack you and you are just more interested in exploration. Then there is the voyager. Which I first thought said voyeur, which was really weird. You are an explorer in equal parts hunter and hunted. The world will not give you anything freely, but you'll find that with time you can master it. For players who are looking for a reasonably challenging exploration survival experience, but not a punishing one. And Stalker, your demise awaits behind every hilltop, shelter, and tree. Only by skill and determination can you snatch another hour from the death's hungry jaws. Not for the faint of heart, only the strong survive. I actually played this once, and I logged in, loaded in, pressed OK to continue, and was immediately eaten by a wolf. So they were not kidding. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and start up a Voyager game. Uh, there are two different survivors. You could pick a male or a female. We'll call him Bob. We'll call her Francis. No, no we won't. We'll call her Elizabeth. That'll work. Uh, I like picking Elizabeth because she has better voice acting. I, my personal opinion, you know, people can just play whoever they wish, obviously, but I found his to be a little drolling and just uninspired, where hers, you actually sound like she's cold and in pain and scared and angry about being eaten by a wolf. So, they do not talk all that often. It's just more of a, hey, here's a gentle reminder that I'm cold by saying, oh god, I've never been so cold in my life. That sort of thing. So, it doesn't come up much. There is no real, I think there is a bit of music, like it'll play every great once in a while, but it's just atmospheric. So, there's two different places you can start. Mystery Lake and Coastal Highway. I like Coastal Highway. It's a little bit easier because there's buildings about Mystery Lake. You kind of have to hunt for things and it just gets a little bit rough. So. Let us begin. A mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down in the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? About two hours, at best. Extinction is the rule. Survival is the exception. Carl Sagan. Rip. All right, so here we are. Like I guess that very stylized. Oh God, there's already a wolf out there and a bunny. Hi, bunny. And another wolf. E. Okay. So we need to get our bearings. And I don't mean the Bering Sea, which, you know, this may be. Uh, there is a fishing hut over here. Obviously, the whole idea behind this is to try to 
Uh, gather up as much as you can, as quickly as you can before nightfall, because you don't want to be here at, at night. Right now it's very windy, which means it's cold. Luckily, the wind is not always about, and I should be able to skirt that little wolf over there. But I'm going to go ahead and sprint here. Run, bunny, run! Uh, general looting system applies. We can go into the drawer here. Let's see, it is left mouse. I'll take it. I will take the tomato soup can. There is a weight system in place. And it tells you how many calories you may get out of it. We'll take the orange soda. I'm just going to take stuff right now. I'll worry about drinking and eating once I am indoors. Oh, yes. It'll take a vest. Uh, let me pull this up real quick. Uh, tab will bring up your inventory. You could do many different things here. You could repair things, harvest things, sleep, start a fire. And this also tells you your current condition. I have this, and it's going down slowly. I've survived for 17 minutes. Amazing. And the cold and whatnot. Uh, so equipment, we're going to go sort. Oh, here's a bunny. Okay. <laughs> I got a little warm. Worried there. Okay. Clothing. Uh, so we are currently wearing uh, a thin wool sweater. We're going to go ahead and put a down vest on top of that. It's only got a 33% condition. But it does help a little bit with a warmth and windproof bonus. Uh, we're just trying to be as warm as possible. We're going to go ahead and search this cupboard here. Nothing. We'll take this reclaimed That'll wood. Because we can use that for fire. Which we could actually build a fire right here. You have to have a starter. Which we currently have 12 matches. A tinder plug. And some sort of fuel. And possible accelerant. Now. Fire starting base skill. You start at 5. 50. I'm sorry. 50. Which means you have a chance of success at 50%. Now, there is a sleeping uh, system in here. So if you do decide that you want to go ahead and take a little nap, you may want to set your fire to the amount of time that you will be set doing that nap. So not a bad idea. Uh, it does not appear to be anything up on top there. So we're going to move on. I'm going to check the whereabouts of our wolfy friends. So there's one there. There's one there. Uh, there's a little hunting cabin or something over here, so I'm going to see if I can make my way over. As you can hear, she's kind of cold. It was interesting one time when I was... Okay, this is going to be a little tricky. I'm going to have to try and run past that wolf. One of the times that I was playing this, I was actually outside scavenging. And I was taking a look around a car, and all of a sudden a pack of wolves just came running up at me. So I quick jumped in the car and literally had to sit there for about 15 minutes while they just wandered around. And eventually they left. It was, you know, eventually they just kind of wandered off. Gave up on me, but it was really tense for that time. Alright, so let's get up this hill and get into this house real quick. Hopefully we can get into this house. It does look like it is not snowed in completely. Misanthropes Homestead. Fantastic. Come on, where's the entrance? Oh, Canada, you are so freaking cold. There we are. All right, so we are now indoors. And you can hear the wind outside. Isn't that awesome? Lantern Let's fuel. Be prepared for anything. We'll take that. We'll take the water. Oh, yeah, water bottles. Fantastic. Nothing in there. Alright, so. Nothing there. Nothing there. Uh, I do believe I could use a match here. Or I could use a flare, even. No firearms in inventory. I could use a flare, but that'd be a waste of a flare. The wolves are actually afraid of flares, so that's a good thing to keep around. So what do we have here? Nothing, nothing. This stuff will come Granola bar. Water bottle. Oh, yeah. That's the kind of stuff I'm looking for. Give me the foods. Give me the water. And a sewing kit. Okay, whatever. I'll take a sewing kit. Alright. Beef jerky. Lasts forever. Nothing. Ugh. I think I can use this. There we are. Unfortunately, I don't think this place has a fireplace, so it may not suit me. Um for like an overnight venture. Let's check the oven here. 
And it's really interesting because the pineapple peaches, I'm going to have to find a can opener now. I already did that one. Um, but the sound design on this is really interesting. It actually, every once in a while, gives you just this creepy feeling. Like there. You just kind of hear the wood creak. Sounds like the wind's died down out there, so that's a good thing. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Ah, let me know. Alright, did I check? Yeah, I checked the fridge. Okay. Check the cabinet door. Nothing here. Oh, lantern! Hmm. Okay. So we have a lantern now. There we are. Oh, see, I would have missed this can of soup. And antiseptic. How bad would that have been? Now I have limited fuel in this thing. And yeah, I was right, this place does not have a fireplace, so it may not work very well. Don't want to waste all the fuel. I can see pretty well up here. Well, no, I can see alright. Let's just check these drawers real quick, see if I could find some warm clothing. Mm, this will come in handy. Wool long underwear, okay. And generally what I do is I kind of search the whole place and then I'll go through my inventory and see if there's anything I want to uh, swap out, drop out, things of that such. And I can actually take water out of the toilet. Gotta take all. There we are. Now I will have to boil that for it to be drinkable water. But it's a start. And if I so desired, I could uh, take a nap here. Oh, oh there we go. Useful. Basic gloves, good stuff. Okay. Uh, lantern fuel, take that. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. So, let's go ahead and check our inventory out here. We're going to check out our clothing. So we have basic gloves. That's 25%, that's 28 So I will wear that and drop that. I'm trying to save as much weight as possible. Mariner's pea coat. What does that take? Oh, okay. So that takes off the down vest. That gives me plus. Oh, that's a lot better. Warmth and wind bonus. Much better than this one. So the down vest I'll drop. Uh, wool long underwear. Underwear. I'm wearing cotton long underwear, and that's got terrible, terrible rating. So I'll go ahead and put those on. That should be a little bit better. There we go. So now I'm warmer. As you can see, the arrow points downward, which means I'm actually doing pretty good. Uh, calories. Calories? Really? Did I just say that? Calories. Slowly dropping, but not too bad. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is try to get to shore because I know that there are a lot more, uh, houses on the shore that I could possibly rest up at because they will have, uh, they will have fireplaces available. I just have to figure out which side they will be on. I think it's over there. Yeah, okay, I can see some huts over there. Uh, but I need to make sure I'm not going to run into any wolfies at this time. So, let's go over here. Oh, <laughs> shit! Shit the bed, Fred! Run, 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 run. Gotta go back in the house. No, bad puppy. Bad puppy. Bad, no, no puppy. No, go. Cool. Puppy, are you still following me? Shit! <laughs> okay. Hmm. So I may have to wait out that wolf a little bit here. See if I can hear him out there. Oh, no, I'm nervous. I've never had to duck in with a wolf so close before. I don't know how long it takes for them to just kind of go. I know, I'll watch them tea. Oh. Whoa. Looks like a skull right there. Creepy. Okay. So this place is kind of in disrepair. Looks like they had a nice family and what appears to be a poodle. Is that a poodle? Is her arm over her head or is she just in a box or something? confused. Okay, let's go see where that wolfie is. Wolfie? You know what? 
No. Back off. That's right. Back off. Okay, time to go. <laughs> gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Oh! Ow! Okay. Slight damage, nothing too horrible. Um. Okay, so Wolfie is over there, so I should be okay to check out this uh, ice fishing hut. And hope for the best. More Wolfie over there. Damn you, Wolfie. Let's see what he had. Oh, a pry bar. Yes. Cedar firewood. That burns well. Reclaimed wood. That burns well. It's getting windy. Oh, a wool scarf. Yeah. I'm going to be setting a fashion statement out here. And a toque. Yeah. Or a taku. I don't know. Basic wool scarf. Wear. Talk. Oh. Oh, well, God, this one's terrible. Drop. Wear. Ah. Warmer. You're a terrible talk. Right, so I am still cold and getting colder. Uh, calories is okay. Hunter thirst. All right, so I'm doing all right. It is starting to get uh, dusk, so I need to find a house, and I do believe over there is going to be it. There is a deer over there. If I had something that I could actually kill it. I would kill it. Just gotta make sure I have no wolfies around me. Everything seems to be... What is that? It... What is that? Is that a dead animal? It is! Okay, it is a... Oh, ravaged deer carcass frozen. Never mind. That will not be sanitary. Also, I'm apparently cold again. Yep, very cold. Gotta get inside. Gotta get inside. Alright. Uh, do you have a fire stack? That one does. Okay, so... Let's loot this one. And then we will go into the other one to make bedding for the night. I'll take it. Insulated boots? Yes, I will. Let's see here. Boots. So what am I wearing now? Basic boots. Wear. Drop. Much better. Alright, let's go ahead and light this puppy up. There we go. And do a little searching. Nothing in there. Another water bottle. Newsprint roll for anything. can be used as tinder, which is always a plus when you're starting a fire. It's kind of creepy. Bathroom, I could take more water. Oh, another newsprint roll. Perfect. Take a shower. No? Okay. First aid, yes. A candy bar and a bottle of water in a first aid kit. What, <laughs> what kind of people lived here? You know what we need. All right, peaches. Oh, I'm getting cold again because it's getting bad outside. All right. Interestingly enough. Oh, I was extinguishing that. Those are eaten. Interestingly enough, in here, 60 frames. No problem. Tin of sardines. Really need to find a can opener. Luckily, those have a pull tab. Every once in a while, I'll find a rabbit in there. It's fantastic. Probably useful. Salty crackers. Tin of coffee. Oh yeah, you can make coffee. And it helps with your uh, helps with your fatigue. God, it sounds really bad out there. I had another interesting experience in one of my games where I found this nice industrial complex and I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to find some good stuff in here. That'll help. Okay. Another energy bar. I'm a hoarder. What can I say? 
and uh, went inside, struck a match, was checking things out. It was a pretty nice place. I figured I could uh, kind of make it a base camp. And suddenly, I heard a very low rum... Hi. Got anything on you? You're useless! Anyways. <laughs> there was a low rumble. This will come in handy. Yeah, I already got a better one. Oh, did I already run out of fuel? I already have wool long underwear, so I don't need that. You're just gonna kinda stay there, right? Good. Uh, but yeah, I heard this low rumble. And I looked around, and sure enough, a wolf staring at me with big red glowing eyes. Scared the crap out of me and then it ate me. So, 10 out of 10 would go again, etc. Alright, we're going to go out into the other room, or the other house rather, and start getting set up for the evening. Calories, 1293. Alright, so I will do some eating and stuff. Oh, there's a wolfie there. Bad wolfie, no kibble. Oh no. I was going to say, I better be able to get into this place. <laughs> Alright. That's right. Take all the stuff. Alright, so, I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to start a fire yet. Oh, a flare, yes. I'm not going to start a fire just yet. Because I need. I don't think I have enough to let it burn throughout the night. But what I will do is I will start the fire and then sleep through the night. And should be should be pretty good by morning. Uh, wood matches, lighter fuel, cotton long underwear. Don't need that. Could take some more water. Might as well. You can never have enough water. There we are. Excellent. All right, so while we take a break here, I just want to kind of show you a few of the things. Oh, there we go. Tinder roll. More matches. Got to have everything. Lights? No. Oh, God, it's so freaking windy out. All right, so my cult is going down. That is good. That means that this place is pretty well insulated. Plus the clothing warmth and windshield bonus are helping. So you could forest wood. If you have a tool, you'll get more units of uh, wood to... Actually, I should go out and do that, shouldn't I? Because I'm probably going to need a lot of wood. Okay, that's going to take a lot of calories for that, though. Um, well, 40 minutes. Okay. Uh, I don't think I need tinder. I think I have enough tinder. Let me just take a look here. Uh, tinder, yes. Plenty. Yeah, I'm going to need some more wood. Okay. Uh, so I am going to do some foraging real quick. So we are going to... And you can also harvest. Basically, you can tear apart one of these things and it'll give you something like cloth or... Scrap metal, things of that sort. Which I do believe you have to use in order to uh, repair things. Uh, let's see what else. The log, this just tells you what, uh, what has happened to you. You can have a repair thing here. You have a, I actually have a sewing kit so I could repair some stuff, but I don't have a cloth. Uh, first aid shows you everything. Pay no attention to those. Uh, this shows you what could possibly be afflicting you. It looks like they have, like, a gash. Uh, broken something, skin something, cell something, parasite something. But I have no afflictions. And then you use the items over here to actually fix yourself. Uh, bedroll. You can put down your bedroll to sleep. But I have a bed in there, so why would I? And I can start a fire. But I can't start a campfire indoors. So, let's go ahead and forest some or uh, grab us some reclaimed wood here. Uh, we'll do two hours forage. There we go. It is now 8.55. Getting a little low on calories, so I do believe I will do a little eating and drinking here. Let's go down to food and drink. Uh, 
Chocolate and nuts! So we will have a little bit of this. Now it seems like the uh, the food and drink, everything just goes to your caloric intake. There is no like, uh, oh there is a hunger and thirst. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry. Never mind, don't pay any attention to me. Let's have some tins of sardines. There we are. Alright, hunger is not going down enough. Beef jerky. Gotta get back those precious calories. There we go. Now that's going down, but I need my thirst to go down. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is safe. Oh, so potable means safe. Learn something new every day. I'm an idiot. So the, uh, the toilet water is good to drink. Let's do it. All right. Thirst is all the way down. I'm going to take a quick peek outside and see how it looks. Oh, yeah. This is why you don't go out at night. Well, one of many reasons. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh, dear. It got dark awful quick. No fuel in lantern. Okay, so how do I add fuel to the lantern? Did I use it all? Uh, material tool other. Lantern fuel. All right, so I have, let me see here. Let me try. Repair, do, 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 no. Back, uh. Wonder how I add that, let's see here. Let's try tool. Storm lantern, refuel, there we go. There we go. Much better. Much better. Okay, so... Oh, I missed something here. Sewing kit. Cabinet. I'll take it. Bandage. Definitely take that. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. It looks like there is dog food. Don't need dog food. Not that desperate yet. Didn't search the fridge. Bah. Double bar. Okay. Well, with that in mind, I do believe. Oh, Best nice. Be prepared for anything. That's right. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start a fire now. Uh, all right. Standard thirty minutes. If we add an accelerant, ninety percent of that just changes the success rate. So let's try and start a fire here. On first try, 50% RNG, no! Oops. Alright, let's try it again. And you actually level up your uh, fire starting. When you actually succeed. Alright, newsprint. Come on. Come on. No! <laughs> I am terrible at fire. Alright, let's do cedar firewood then. Come on. Come on. Fire me. Yes! Fire starting skill increased to 51. And now I can cook things on it. A tin of coffee. Or melt some snow into actual water. No unsafe water. I could melt some more snow if I so desired. But you know what? I'm going to make a nice cup of coffee. It's going to be fantastic. There we go. Ah, so I can put that away. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's pretty. Let's just take a nice little... Much more better. Alright, so. Let's have ourselves a little drink here. A nice little hot cup of coffee. Oh, yeah. Mm. And. 
open can using oh, I don't have any of those smash it Ah, 20% was lost. That's fine. <sighs> okay. Doing pretty good. It's gotten really nasty outside. All right, so fireplace. Uh, let us add a little bit more. There we go. And a few of these. There we go, because I can always go for more reclaimed wood. Uh, but right now, I really want that smoldering as long as possible so I don't get too cold when I'm in bed here. And we're going to go ahead and sleep. So we're going to sleep for nine hours. It's going to consume 700, I'm sorry, 675 calories. Let's do it. Oh, there goes the fire. <sighs> Hunger and thirst are way up there. That's to be expected. So we're going to go ahead and have a little something to eat and drink here. Uh, we'll go with a little water. Drink away. <sighs> Thirst. So let's get a little food in us. Um, let's go for a little peaches here. Smash it! There we are. Mmm, yeah. So that was pretty good. Hunger's still up there. Let's get an energy bar. Oh, that's got a lot of calories in it. Wow. Let's see. Much better. Okay. Even though it sounds pretty nasty outside, we're going to have to go and do some more foraging because I used up a lot of my materials just for making that fire. All right. So it's not too bad outside right now. It is a little bit windy. Ah, here we are. There's a deer over there. So, let's check the hood. Nothing worthwhile under there. Search the trunk. Scrap metal, yes. Basic wool hat, no. I've got a better hat already. Although I should take some of that stuff to... Uh... Hmm. I should take some of that stuff to rip into cloth so I can repair things. All right, so let's check the visor. Nothing there. Nothing there. There is a granola bar there. Can use this. Glove box. Cardboard matches always helps. Uh, nothing else. Nothing else. All right. Ah, this happened to me before. Go away. No, go away. There was a lot more of them last time this happened. But, uh, yeah. This, uh... This... No. No. Just shoo. Alright, here's the deal. Once he gets far enough away, I'm gonna make a mad dash to that building. Wait for it. Okay. Hmm. No. <laughs> no. 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 Go. No. Follow your friend. Follow your friend. I had to jinx it, didn't I? I had to say there was more of them last time. Although, to be fair, there was four last time, but still. This is just... This is, is the other one coming back? He is. Crap. Alright, screw it! Mad dash! Go, 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 go! Woo! <laughs> okay. This is a nice okay. place to find a lot of supplies, usually. Salty crackers, peaches, beans. A lot of soda up in here. Down vest. Uh, newsprint roll. Newsprint. 
Take all the water. Not much in there. Okay. Oh, medicals. Bah. A flare. That'll be handy. Alright, so. What's that? Another pry bar. I already have one of those. Let's see what else we can find. A workbench. Crafting! I did not even realize this was available. How awesome is that? Deerskin boots, fishing tackle, hook, line, snare, wolfskin coat. Yeah! We'll have to remember that as I move on. Probably useful. Suitable for fishing? Yes, it will. Simple tools! Excellent! So now I can craft and repair things. Another workbench, drawer, leather. Might be, might be. In there. Nothing. I love the reverb of being just in an empty little metal hut here. Just you can just hear it echo. Love it. There's a fire barrel here. And I do have a pry bar so I can get into these suckers. Not hide your belongings from me. Even though they weren't. Nothing, 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 tin mm, of coffee. Another storm lantern. Yeah. Alright. Jerky. Best beef, beef jerky. Anything. God, I love beef jerky. Both in game and in real life. Give me some uh, teriyaki or honey barbecue. Just the drool begins. Right. Okay. Let me search this real quick. Now I am coming up on my weight limit here. I can show you here to 2640 out of 330. This stuff will come in handy. Herbal tea that actually relaxes you, which is nice. Helps you sleep better, if I remember correctly. Uh, there is a bedroll back here, so I suppose I could always make this a uh, temporary home. I could do a fire barrel here. As a matter of fact, I do want to start this just to see if I can get my uh, fire starting skill up a little bit. First try, best try. How am I doing on warmth? Oh, I'm fine. Metal container, scrap metal. So if I so desired, I could make this my little base of operations. Start storing things up in here. Uh, can I cook on here? I can. Excellent. Let me make some pork and beans. I need to find a can opener or a knife or something. There we go. Let's eat us some tasty, tasty pork and beans. Oh, look at those calories go up. Yes. Yes. So much happy. All right. So we're going to go out of here for now. We may come back. Because there are other houses out here. Two frosted through. Can't see the fire. That would be neat if they added something like that, but I can see why they wouldn't. It would be a lot of extra resources to do that. Uh, we could loot in here. Uh, but you know what? This seems like a fine place to end the video for now. There is so much more to learn and explore, and I don't want to just kind of ruin it for everybody. I want you to be able to find your own things. So right now, I'm going to go mess with the wolf. It is time. Yeah, you want some of this? 
You want some of this? Come on, fuzzy butt. Come on, fuzzy butt. Yeah, come on, fuzzy butt. Yeah, fighting with crowbar. Kick your ass. Ah. Where are you going? Get back here. I'm not done with you yet. Hey. Hey. Think you can run away from a fight? Sissy! Coward! Ow. I don't feel so good. Yeah. Let's see. So, fatigue, condition, drain. You are bleeding from a wound. If left untreated, you will continue to weaken until you die. And infection risk. You sustain a wound that can result in an infection if left untreated. Right. So, uh, we will bandage that. And use antiseptics on that. There. Perfectly almost kind of sort of healthy. Still bleeding a little bit. You know, that is my blood. I'm not dripping anymore though, so that's good. And it's really nice because, as you can see, your footprints actually stick around. So you can see where you've been if you get lost. Which I've been lost before because there are blizzard conditions. But now it's time to die to a wolf. What? Ah, fighting the wolf! Ah! Blech. You died from loss of blood and shock from a wolf attack. So there you have it. There are some very, very beautiful places that you can explore in here. Uh, and with two different places for you to actually start off with. And you can actually get between them. I found that out. Uh, I started off in the wilderness side, or what was that called? The lake? Uh, Mystery Lake, that's what it was. I started off over there and actually found a tunnel to the coastal highway. So you can actually get between the two. So, with that in mind, my voice is about to go. Because after a week and a half of coughing incessantly, I just can't speak very well anymore. So, with that in mind, thank you very much for watching. And I will catch you next time. Adios.